So we have doomsday for the banks. Now banks are declaring bankruptcy. We have core inflation hitting four year highs. We have, oh, that's that would be a nice art piece of art, wouldn't that, in, in B of A? I don't know, what do you think? I just thought it would warm the place up, Manager Scott, no? Okay, but the ECB has got it wrong. JP Morgan, well, ECB says we're good. JP Morgan got it totally wrong. The Fed is bailing out the banks. And I think there is an amazing setup to finally stick it to BlackRock. Take that big black rock and throw it right in their coin purse or their man parts, wherever you want to hit them. And today, what a day. If you were a trader, I, basically, I just want to drink large amounts of alcohol. JP Morgan was like, okay, if CPI prints above 8.3, we're gonna lose 5%. All the markets are gonna sell off. 8.1%, uh, okay, we're gonna lose a few percent. What, what did we stack on? 8.2%. Where's our negative 5%? It's like, it started and then ripped our face off. So it looks like inflation's a little stickier, like uh, napalm. Now back to the banks and how they are going to fail. Well, especially like your non-bank, like Rocket Mortgage. Those, there's a whole lot of them, but they, what they do, now this is, here's the tricky part. So put your thinking cap on. They're going to borrow, okay, at the short end of the yield curve. And if I just lost you, I'll say it again, then I'll show you. They borrow at the short end and then they loan at the long end. And right now, the short end is 4.431. It might change. I think it was just 4.430, okay? So they're they're borrowing there and then they're lending it to you on the other end. You wanna know what the other end is? Hold on one moment. I, I got it for you. 3.9. And here, let me zoom in on it for you. They're losing money. And we're gonna go back in even to the major banks. Everyone, it's we're all just, well, they're treading water right now. But trust me, they are this close, one inch as Biden would say, from going under. And oh my gosh, just looking at this market, I'll, if I can remember, I'll explain what happened to Bitcoin. Someone market sold. And I think it was like 50 million. I, I added it up. This was earlier this morning. I'm like, whoa, look at that. Wick. S&P up 3%. Dow up 3%. Woo. How about a squeeze? Let's get this. Everyone was on the other side. But that is not what I want to show you. What I want to show you is this guy. Oh, I, was it up? Was it up? Ah, there it is. See, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for you. And I have a trend line that goes all the way back to the dinosaur era. And it goes back and back. See, it, it just keeps going. 2011, maybe 2010. And BlackRock, look at this. Can, can I just show you something about charts that's just really gonna blow your mind. And I know some days as a trader, you, you don't you want you don't want your mind blown. You want other things blown. Okay, so oh my, this is just come on, come on. Someone uh, throw throw BlackRock a few a uh, couple billion. I mean, come on, kids. What the hell is that? Could could this be more on the pixel? Sorry, I probably should move it up a little bit. But it's okay, BlackRock. I see what you're doing here. I clearly can see it. So you go ahead and I'm just telling you this, just paper trading. Go ahead, BlackRock, pump, pump it up. Go go do like what we did last time where we all bashed you right in the face and we we, we right clicked and we, we clicked the sell button. We made all that money right to there and then we got punched in the face. Actually from the 200 on the Bravo 9 coming all the way down, what was that? Almost 10% right there let me do one more measurement right here another bravo nine that's the red one uh coming down oh 25 percent we had a surprise earnings but it's okay that's gonna fade very quickly so if you oh also if you want to take advantage of how to do this how to right click look click you do that you click trade you click sell ta-da just like that well you don't want to sell right now you, you actually want to buy but you don't want to buy because we're in a bear market you you want to wait just just wait. My bear market course, it's 200 and you'll never be able to get it ever cheaper, ever, ever. Resell it on eBay. You do you. But guys, there's so much money to be made to the downside. Just paper trading. See that? Just clearly, clearly paper trading right there. Come on. Oh, go ahead. T to get your run. Run, 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 Banks. Y you do it. And then we're going to play whack-a-mole. And then BlackRock, you cross that little blue line. I'm going to own you. And maybe I'm taking my trades a little too seriously. Yeah, I should probably 
book a therapy session. Today, we had the announcement core US inflation, like napalm, rises to 40 year high, securing big Fed rate, rate hike. And so what everyone thought, there goes the market. Oh, there goes the market. Like what I've said before, so many, this teeter-totter is like this. You, how about that squeeze? You guys all got squeezed out. Look at that. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh my God. You guys are emailing. You're like, what the hell is happening? I'm getting squeezed here, Bravo. And then up 4.95%. What do you guys emailed me? Like I was going to Vegas this, I can't, I don't know exactly how much, but it was, it sounded like a lot of, a lot of money you were gonna spend in Vegas. Looks like we put you on a budget now. Also, when it comes to inflation, and I know it had a lot to do with rent, I don't, I, please hit the, hit the like button right now <laughs> before you hit the dislike. I think it's, I think we're topping. Do you see how I'm like rubbing my hands together? Cause I know you're like, no, it's forever. Also, before I forget, someone put in, um, they just pushed the button, a market order. <laughs> like whatever, I'll, I'll take anything. Bitcoin was at 19.5, almost went into the 17K range, 17,999. Unbelievable. That would be that gigantic wick right there. Yep, that's what happens, almost. Oof, almost got everyone. And I'm not gonna look, but I wonder how many sell orders are in at, at 17,999. And you were one inch from knocking all the dominoes down. That would have been a fun one. But oh my gosh, before I leave, look at those yields. Those are, oh, I'm, I'm just glad I'm not a bank. Like the ECB. And they said, everything's fine here. Nothing to, nothing to worry about. Exclusive ECB staff sees lower rate peak than market. Sources say, also, could this possibly be a head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, right shoulder that looks strikingly similar to this? And I say no. Also, if you think that this is your double bottom, this is the end of the bear market, you can go all in. I say, go, go ahead, let me know how it is. Coming in from Yahoo Finance, and I'm scaffolding again, I'm repeating, I'm doing like, take, give you homework, right? I never did that in school, high school, college, never. Nope, I hated homework. I'm like, if you don't figure it out now, no need. But I shall reinforce the US yield curve is inverting doomsday for banks. Now, once again, remember, the, the, the short end is, is really high. The, the long end is low. They borrow from high. They're not going to go sell to low. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So they're like, F it. We're not making any loans. No loans mean no money. No money means economy bursts. But you, you go long on whatever you feel like you need to go long on. Let me just read this one more time so you get it. I know we got to be told a couple times, then it goes in. TD Bank, you know, the one that you trade with, are impacted by the U.S. yield curve. And everyone's like, oh, I don't know. Shut up. I don't... I don't know what yield curve is. Okay, banks borrow on the short end of the curve, the, at the end, the 4.3 or whatever we're at, and land on the long one, which is lower. Oh, they're not gonna make any money. If short-term rates go above long-term rates, then their profit margins can suffer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're not gonna do the loan. I mean, unless you have huge fees, which they'll probably stick you with. Oh, and just in case you wanted to know what non-bank financial institutions are, these are the ones that you want to right-click sell. Because <laughs> when this news, oh, oh, so fi, oh, so sad. Uh, let's see, let me scroll on down. Quicken Loans, and it's gone, hold on. Loan Depot, it was great when it was great, wasn't it? Penny Mac, On Deck, Social Finance, which is so fi, Rely Loans, uh, uh, ca Cabbage, or also pronounced garbage, um, unless you wanna go ahead and run an ad on here, then that's fine. PayPal's great. They'll just remove, what, $1,500 out of your account, or was it 2,500? Because you're not saying what they need you to say. I mean, is that crazy? Think about that for a second. I have money in PayPal. Can you just imagine they're like, so we reviewed uh, some of the things you said on YouTube, uh, so for every instance, we're removing 2,500 out of your PayPal account. Hey, PayPal fact checkers, you guys suck. You can go. Go back, make sure that that's accurate. And I can't wait. You get up there again so I can just short the F out of you. I mean, it looks like everyone kind of beat me to it, but you, you get back up there to that 200 and we'll play a little whack-a-mole.
You see, you guys, you need to start trading. It has like that revenge. Now that there's, right? Like, because a, a year ago, I was like, oh gosh, this is terrible. And then YouTubers are like, all in the banks. I'm like, I hate the banks. So now finally under the 200 day moving average and the weekly moving average, it just... Ah, oh, feels so good in my soul. Now all I just, I want to see these companies go up, oh, filing for bankruptcy, garbage on deck. You know, I definitely PayPal. PayPal has to go. Them and Coinbase. And those are the two. Coinbase, you still owe me money. But Bravo, you said U.S. mortgage lenders are starting to go bankrupt. Oh, okay. U.S. mortgage lenders are starting to go bankrupt. <laughs> How this one factor could be triggering the worst surge of failures since 2008. Well, what do you think it could be, Margaret? Could it possibly be the business model? And could it possibly have something to do with the yield curve? Could it possibly be that interest rates are at 7% and everyone's going to go under, including BlackRock Assets plunge amid global stock and bond turmoil? Well, okay, the bond one kind of hurts a little bit, but it's okay. BlackRock, you just made up for it. I mean, come on, the housing market, you don't, there's, there is no hope. San Francisco, right? All the homeless. Except I heard a politician's coming over there and they're cleaning it all up. That's great. Maybe send, send more. Uh, is that Harris that's coming, coming your way? Telling you how great it is. Uh, yeah, there's San Francisco. And uh, what's the question on, on, on the script? This is what 7% mortgages will do the housing market. Here, let, let me help you. Let's say it together, my friends. And it's gone. It's all gone. Well, that would also be if there's a nuclear war. Yeah, I get it. Did I get it right? Which, for some weird reason, that always fixes, well, everything for politicians. I mean, not nu nukes. That, that Now I get scared whenever I say it. Because, yeah, you're going to correct me. And I don't, I, don't, I don't need you to comment in the comment section. But by any chance, did you see that one politician leave one side to go to the other because of war? I... I, my, I give you a hand clap. And just to let you know, if you Google it, they'll tell you it's like, oh, it's it's being fact checked right now. So you want to know how much I'm going to talk about it? About that much. Because on this channel, it's all about reading right in between the lines every single day. And me trying to pull back the curtain and give you some edumacation on how all this goes down because it's so confusing. They make... They make money confusing. Hopefully that's why you subscribed. Or you didn't, or they unsubscribed you. So just check and see if they unsubscribed you. That's what you guys are telling me. Oh, and also, you know, I said at the beginning how the Fed's bailing out the banks. They're like, shh, kind of like Switzerland. Shh, don't say anything. It's like your grandpa gives you, gives you a 20 spot. Hopefully he's a good grandpa. The Fed is now paying 500 million to a handful of banks every day and suddenly has a very big problem. Oh, and just in case you want to see how big the problem is, well, that wasn't so big. And then, then it kind of got a little bit big. And then it got kind of a little bit bigger. And then and then it basically, uh, it, it just keeps going. That's either going to turn into a middle finger, uh, <laughs> I gotcha, whatever. I'll see you tomorrow because I work every single day of my life, even though I don't have to. I love you. Stay free. Go make some money.